Today we made General Sal's ramen while car camping. My nighttime routine is off. This top trunk might be my best investment. It helps so much with storage. Cooking a new recipe today. Found it on TikTok, where I find most of my recipes. I wanted to cook something cheap. The only thing I had at the time was ramen. So I looked up like a ramen recipe. So now we're cooking like General Sal's chicken ramen and got a bunch of vegetables. I'll give you guys the full rundown in a second. Oh, I dropped my onion. These bags are valuable. Gotta keep them, 10 cents a pop. This will be our trash bag for today. So for extra storage space, I open up the uh, the Coleman Camp stove box and I kind of just set everything down here. It's all wet from my last video. It was raining. I love rainy days in the car. I mean, I love rainy days in general. In my old tiny home, the rainy days were my favorite. I'm gonna do some cleaning before we even cook. Real quick guys, this is how I clean my dirty dishes. I just use Dawn dish soap, a scrubby, and a gallon of water. Scrub with soap, rinse and repeat multiple times. Just a quick pro tip, a lot of people ask. For the first step of this process, I'm gonna debone the chicken thighs. Now I'm gonna dice the chicken up. All right, I'm gonna put everything in this bag, season it up, throw some soy sauce on it. Just mushing that all around, spreading those seasonings, spreading the goodness. And the total for all of the materials that I bought came out to around $16. And this chicken right here, about two pounds of chicken was only $6 because I got the bone in and skin on thighs. You save about $3 just by taking the bone out yourself. And I like the skin personally. Extra protein, baby. So uh, chop up all of our vegetables and get those ready, prepared to throw in while we let this marinate a little bit. Starting with the red bell pepper. See how I'm like always hunched over? I do have a chair, hang on. Chair activated. Oh, so much better. I don't have to kill my back. I saw this thing that said cooking is like self-love. If you're struggling with mental health, start cooking for yourself a little bit more often. It's a, it's a good way to show yourself some self-love. I think cooking is one of the most rewarding tasks as well, especially like out on the road. This is like my lifeline. Oh, that did not go to plan. Bell peppers, done. Onion, ha ha. My first time getting into cooking was really at my tiny house because my mom would always cook dinner. So I didn't really have to, uh, I didn't have to think about it. You know, sometimes I would help her with dinner, but majority of the time you just come home and there's dinner on the table. You'd grab a plate. But yeah, when I was in the tiny home, I was eating so horribly and I was like, all right, I need to start uh, cooking up some healthy food or something. So now we're here. I also used to hate onion. Now I love it. I'm cutting this kind of thick. Are you crying? I'm not crying, you're crying. Mix those bad boys up. Three of these bad boys. Good old snowman nose. Frosty, right? Yeah. I keep wanting to sing Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer while I'm cutting these, but that's not right. I need like shavings. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer had a very... Oh shit. Five second rule? Actually, nah, that's, that is straight cement. Oh. Yeah, what, what? I really don't want to cut myself. I know this, I've cut myself with this knife before. It is razor sharp. You always gotta like bend your fingers when you're cutting. Cut with the, use like your knuckle to line it up. I'm also not the best at that either. We're novice, you know what I'm saying? We're new around the, the cooking parts. Let me see if I just cut this whole thing in half. Then let's do something from there. Oh, I'm just gonna do the old fashioned. I'm just gonna chop all these bad boys up. See that bit way too thick. I'd say these are more aesthetic. My TikTok video is currently blowing up. I knew it would too. Like I know which videos blow up. I just don't like posting the same video over and over and over again. If I'm trying to get this tiny house in a timely manner, like the, the best thing for me to do would just be to post the same video over and over again. Not the same video, but the same kind of concept. I mean, I guess it's on me as the creator to try to find like a fresh and new way to go about doing this, like the same type of video. Hopefully it gets a million views and we get a thousand bucks. That'd be awesome. Update, the video is currently at 4.9 million views. Second update, it's at 22.1 million views. That one's at 1.2 million, that one's at 600K. All the videos are doing very well and I'm getting a bunch of new followers. So. And hopefully this video on YouTube gets over, because this is my long form, so hopefully this one gets over 
10,000 views. Normally they go to about five to 600 views and then they chill. And then over the course of the next couple of months, they'll get up to like a thousand, 2000. Some of them have gone crazy, got over 5,000. It's different, it's a whole different ball game, long form YouTube videos. Okay, I think I'm only gonna chop up that many and then I'll just eat the, I'll have the carrots for another meal or later down the road. Okay, now to my least favorite thing to chop up, which is these onions, or which is these garlics. Do garlics go bad? These have been sitting in the back of my car for a while. Now it's time to cook. Dang it, I forgot to chop up the cabbage. All nice and chopped up. Looks like a salad. I'm just gonna let them sit in a little bit of water there. Just get them nice and wet. And then we'll stir them around and try to loosen up those noodles. Replacing the butane is extremely simple. You just have to make sure your lock is unlocked. You open it up and there's a notch in the butane right here. And you line that notch up with this little thing right here. Put the nozzle in. Then once it's in place, then you can lock it down. And then that's how you can turn your heat on. Turn the gas on. I'm gonna put a healthy amount in. Evening it out, evening it out. Just trying to make sure each piece has solid contact and they're not like on top of each other. So this is what we're trying to cook. So you cook the chicken and they throw in the cabbage with the carrots, with the onions. That seasoning got on a whole two pieces of chicken. There we go. So I'm gonna let the egg cook a little bit, then I'm gonna break it apart. Again, this was like 17, 18 dollars worth of food. And we got a full Tupperware. This is at least two meals. So do I even really need to even put it in here? No, but I don't want to scarf it down right now. Maybe I'll do it in the middle of the night at a and I don't want it to get super freaking, uh, you know what I'm saying? I don't want it to get mushy. Mm. Wow. Wow. One thing, the vegetables went in too early, especially the cabbage. The cabbage almost should have been the last thing to get layered in because it's just super soggy. It tastes like you got it out of a restaurant straight up. Maybe it's that professional General Sow sauce, but like, this is delicious. This piece of chicken's pretty big. Let's see if it's cooked all the way through. And yeah, it's perfect. It. it feels like a major corporation. Now it's a little bit complicated. However, if you So basically, I found this neighborhood to park in and I'm just on this public street right here underneath a lamp post and it's just a nice neighborhood. And yeah, I'm just parked right here on the street. There's a park right there. And I found this place on i Overlander. I use the website or you can use the app and you find free parking spots that way. I'm listening to some Mr. Ballin. I listen to Mr. Ballin every night to go to sleep and I'm eating my food. So let's, I already put up this window cover right here, the windshield cover. Let's put up the window covers and then let's cuddle up in our sleeping bag and go to sleep.
49 degrees tonight. It's gonna get down to 39 degrees. We're gonna keep our reflective side facing in so that our heat bounces off and stays in the car. We're nice and cozy. This, sleep bag, this sleeping bag is rated for 50 degrees. I'll probably keep my hoodie on. I don't usually put the ski mask all the way on. Sometimes I'll put the ski mask all the way on, but I normally just put it on the top of my head. And then I have a beanie as well that I might throw on if I get super cold. My body stays nice and toasty all night. I haven't had any problems in this neighborhood. I did wake up one morning to a, a dude tapping on my window, but it was just like the neighbor, the dude sleeping in a car in front of me or in his truck. And he just needed a, he needed a jump. But most of the time, no one will really bother you. It did not freak me out because I was already awake. Thank God. Or else I would have been pretty freaked out. All right. My butt cushion. Oh, it's hot. I'm feeling hot. I'm going to take the socks off. My nighttime routine is I'll sit here turn the car off but i'm not turning the car off right now but i'll turn the car off sit here listen to some mr ballin it's strange dark and mysterious or i'll get on cap cut and i'll edit a couple of videos i'll sit here and i'll edit for a little bit i'm probably going to try to edit this vlog down just a little bit to where i can edit it quicker tomorrow at least like piece all the clips together food was delicious today we had a great time I'm going to start putting more effort into these vlogs. Um, I think I'm going to take a step back from streaming. Only stream maybe like three days a week when I have actual content to stream. But yeah, I want to start posting more vlogs. I really want to build up my YouTube long form viewership. Um, but other than that, thank you guys for watching the video. Let me know in the comments what you guys want me to see. Let me know what videos you want me to do. You want me to do car camping in the rain, car camping in extreme heat. Let me know if you want me to do a car camping tour. Just any ideas that you have related to traveling or car camping or any spots that you want me to go visit, drop them in the comments. Give me some inspiration. Let me know. Love you guys. God bless. Stay on the grind. Peace out. Happy travels.